By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Well, yes. It's pretty obvious. I was trying to be polite earlier, but with those glowing eyes, there's only, well, maybe two things you can be. But I'm guessing that you're a vampire. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Serana. Over here, this looks like, uh, the castle you described. And it looks That's like it. there's a Out boat. there to the north. Okay. We used to keep a boat around here to get there and back. It's right here. Alright, come on, let's go. Is some castle. Okay, come on. Don't act like you're not excited to be home. I mean, I'd imagine after all this time. So, what's it like being a vampire? I mean, the fact that you could stay in that tomb? And, what, I mean, were you conscious or sleeping or... Hey, what? so, what? before we go in there... Yeah? What is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Alright. Um, I guess someone saw you. Come on. Whoa, look at all this mist. I watched the gate. Ain't much else to tell. Okay. All right. Serrano, are you ready? I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Okay, here we go. Home sweet home. How dare you trespass here? What? Wait. Serrano? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. Well, I guess it truly is you, isn't it? Why was that man's My face Lord, so dark? Everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. I guess you are. My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my elder scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, I would like to, to see you. Those daughter. dogs aren't gonna bite, are they? Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I'm Zoltan. And you are? I am Harkon, lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Well, yes. It's pretty obvious. I was trying to be polite earlier, but with those glowing eyes, there's only, well, maybe two things you can be. But I'm guessing 
that you're a vampire. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Alright, so what happens now? You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Really? You know, I was actually hoping for gold. So what happens if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! What are you... What, what are you okay? Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, help me! Choice. I can't move! What are you? I, I don't want to become a vampire. I refuse your gift! So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. Oh! What? What happened? Oh, I'm seeing double. Everything's so blurry. Oh, my eyes. Oh. Oh, it's back to normal. Wow, but that was a teleportation spell. That was the most violent one I've ever experienced. I mean, the ones in Bruma were... You know, they were... Nice. I'm getting out of here. Alright, it's time for me to get back to the Dawnguard castle. Oh, hello. Is this new? It looks like this, uh... Little area has been built since I was gone. Hello? What? something useful here. Is Ran? Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Well, I have some news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. The vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? She's the daughter of a powerful vampire lord. And so you delivered her to them. They also have, um, an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? 
You didn't secure the scroll. There were too many of them, and only one of me. Plus, the Vampire Lord used an incredibly powerful teleportation spell that banished me from the castle. So they have everything they wanted, and we're left with nothing by the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. Well, we have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. All right, where can I find the people we need? Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the Reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. She'll help us? Might need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Any advice for a new vampire hunter? There's only one thing worth remembering. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. And good people will die because of you. I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, you'll do the same. Alright then. Keep your eyes open. Of course. All right. Let me check my map. All right. We're going to go to Honey Strand Cave. Where'd you come from? Oh. <laughs> Fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Isran needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help? Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires? Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. Well, we're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the Eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Okay. Where's the bear?
Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, he said to meet him at Fort Dawnguard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. All right. So this is Honey Strand. And I say finally, because I had premonitions of, uh... Gunmar in another cave and we could never finish the mission. That's why I had to dismiss any followers in order to get this to complete. That's it. All right, let's go and find Serene. Dr. Bombay, are you all right? Put that bear trap there. All right, I guess you can walk across here. Oh, look, someone's some satchel. Serene should be up here. Hello? Serene? Just one gyro. One, and I can get back to work. Where are they? Well, you look different than um, the pictures that I've seen, the drawings. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear um, I left yeah, it right Yes, I here. have. I've seen them. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? Maybe. I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Isran asked me to find you, and I do have the satchel you're looking for, so calm down. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So, if you'll excuse me... So, the two of you had a falling out? Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Well, I hate to break this to you, but... Vampires threaten all of Skyrim and we need your help! Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? They have an Elder Scroll. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. 
So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Look, I've got you. Here are here's your satchel of gyros. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? We're meeting at Fort Dawnguard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. All right. Wow. All right, then. You know, I have been working on trying to recruit you two. For hours upon hours. Finally. All right, I will join you all shortly. There are some things here that I need to discover. All right, so I've recruited Gunmar and Serene, and now I'm back at Fort Dawnguard to meet with Isran. I still can't get over how long it took to accomplish this, and yeah, can't can't have a um, a companion if you're having trouble recruiting these people. Well, Gunmar specifically. There's no problem with Serene. Well, look at this. I'm a fellow, um, Dawn Guard. May I enter? Thank you. So, I guess this time I won't run up here and be attacked by vampires. So far, so good. You know, maybe they need to put a, a gate here. All right, there they are, Gunmar and Serene. Israel. All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? All right. Now I need to go and meet with Isran and see what's going on. It gets more mysterious as the hour grows long. Yeah.